All right, it is a revision. So geometry of straight lines. Geometry of straight lines. All right, so we're looking at straight lines. Geometry of straight lines. And I'm sure we have an idea of what our straight lines are right from grade. And we won't waste time, guys. We won't waste time right from grade eight. We know what a straight line is. There are keywords that I want us to quickly take note of. I want us to take note of these keywords as we go through this together. Keywords. Number one, complementary angles. Number two, supplementary angles. These are keywords we would come across as we go through all of this. All right. I'm sure you already you know what the perpendicular means, right? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. Number four. So please, I'm sure you're taking your notes, you're making notes. We're gonna define and explain each of this, All right? And then we're gonna talk about parallel lines. So we'll then talk about corresponding angles. Please, there's a difference between complementary and corresponding. Corresponding angles, alternate angles. So today is just going to be an introduction. Alternate angles. All right. And then we'll have some activities. So basically, this is what we are going to start with. All right. Um, parallel lines, let me do something here. And transversal line. Let me just add that to that. Parallel line and transversal line. Good. Let the games now begin. Let the games begin. All right, good. Now let's start looking at those angles that we listed. Adjacent angles. Two angles are said to be adjacent. if they have a common vertex. All right? And a common M. Two angles are said to be adjacent. Yes, Noela, you can go ahead and do this work in your geometry book. Thank you. Two angles are said to be adjacent if they have a common vertex and a common M between them. What do we mean by this? Okay, I don't wanna move too far so you can get the screen. And sometimes if you feel you're not done yet, you can just take a screenshot, all right? So we have this as an example, all right? So if I have this as A, I have B, 
I have C and I have D. We would call this one and call this two just to be able to see the difference between the two angles. All right. Now, we must understand how angles are called. And this is going to be very important to us. Angle A1 can be called B A C with this cap there. I want to explain that. Angle B A C is known as angle A1. Guys, it is important. It is very, very important to be able to get that angle right. B, A, C. So if you look at it, B, let me use the blue, B, C. So I'm looking at B, A, C, the angle there, B, I move to A, I move to C. All right, so B, A, C. Can you tell me, what do you think angle A2 will be? What do you think angle A2 would be? What can you call angle A2? Tell me quickly, if you understood what I just did by BAC, tell me what you think angle A2 would be. Uh, no, Nabila, not ACD, no. Okay, noted, noted. I have C A D. Nabila, I know that you corrected it. It's okay. I'm still checking your answers. All right, everybody seems to be on board. So that angle is called C A D, or you can call it D A C. Whichever word, C, A, D, both will be correct. The angle between them and D, A, C, all right? Whichever one. And also here, we could have B, A, C, or could go the other way, C, A, B. But please, when you do this, you must put that symbol there. That symbol tells us that A is the angle between the two. Right, beautiful. You would notice that this point here is common to them. So we call that a common vertex. All right, and this line, the one I drew in red, is actually common. They have a common arm. Because this AC is actually um, in between these two lines, AB and AD. So angle AC is common. So we call it a common M. If that is the case, we can then say that since, since they have a common vertex at A and a common M AC, A1 and A2 are adjacent angles. A1 and A2 are adjacent angle. Please let me know if you're okay. Just say okay. You can take a screenshot so that we save time. If you are okay, just let me know. Say okay.
All right. I want you to I want you to complete this for me. I want you to complete this. What would you call angle A1 plus A2? How would you name it? In terms of C A D D A C B A C. Angle A1 plus angle A2. How would you name that angle? A1 plus A2. How would you name it? A1 plus A2. All right. Bad. It's a bad angle. It is a very, very bad angle. All right. I only have four responses. Zainab, Tasmia, Shuaib, and Zahra. All others are not responding. Do I have only four people in class? What about the remaining guys? Talk to me, please. Talk to me. I have about 14 people in class who are not talking. Guys, come and talk to me. I will not go forward if you're not talking to me. Noela, talk to me. Ozer, you'll have to wait for the video. You are late in class. You'd have to wait. Just go on with us, get the video, and then revise. Thank you. All right, Nilofa, thank you. Amatula, thank you. All right, so angle B, A, D. And remember, D, F, O, D, A, B, with a cap. All right, I hope everybody's okay. There. Now let's quickly talk about the second angle. So the first one we talk Angles. Now let's talk angles. Right. Angles are said to be complementary. Let's do that. Angles are said to be complementary if they add up to ninety degrees. And the set complementary, if they add up to 90 degrees. Point one, point two. If two angles that add up to 90 are adjacent, now you know what adjacent angles are. Then they are called they are called adjacent in, in red. They are called adjacent complementary angles. So it's not just that they add up to 90, but they add them adjacent to one another, adjacent complementary angles. Adjacent complementary angles. All right, I'll give you a second to quickly write that.
All right, I'm sure you're done writing that. I will then do this. All right, now we know that that's at 90 degrees, right? Good. So let's label this as E, F, G, F1 and F2. All right, number one, they have, what is that? a common vertex okay my m looks as like a millipede walking common vertex common m all right so they have a common vertex and a common m and because of that F1 and F2 